Should we do air gun stuff? Or just stay in the house? Should we do air gun stuff? Hmm. Okay. What I have discovered about the death grip, it don't get no death grip on my little thin air pistol. Not even up on the uh, uh, on the rail system. So we have to uh, do this. It still makes a good rest. You know, we have to you know we have to do it you know as a rest and not necessarily as a grip. These pellets are a little oversized. I have a resizer, but they're not too terribly oversized. So I may am able to get a good steady rest. And I could do like so when I got a really steady rest. Yeah. That works. And I've still got 2,000 PSI. Yeah, I'm still good. Now this is the pistol. Y'all are not familiar with my channel, but I built from scratch. Well, not exactly from scratch. I built it from parts. Parts that are obsolete and no longer made. This used to be a parts for a discovery rifle. And I took it and I made a discovery pistol. Now I have this nice little lot four grip and bipod that uh, when I'm hunting I use I can hunt off the table, I can hunt off the ground. I can use it like so. I've got a nice little red dot on top of it, which is all I need. And I can, you know, prop it up on the death grip. I can Probably even be like so. Yeah, I can. It'd still be good. But the diff grip doesn't clench down enough to grip this uh, this air tube. Now, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, uh, it's not that difficult to get into it. You know, parts like this are, are used to be readily available on the internet. Finding discovery tubes might be a problem anymore. You may have to fabricate one of your own from uh, stainless steel tubing. And uh, then you got to get all your drill holes and everything in the right place. If you can find a discovery tube, that's what you need to do. And then a discovery barrel. And uh, then you need the, all, the, all your parts to make it a PCP gun. Uh, Magnum Air Power makes a uh, Magnum bar uh, valve. This gun is uh, a was originally a dual fuel gun, a CO2 or compressed air up to 2,000 high pressure air up to 2,000 psi. But his valve enables me to use this thing as a PCP 3,200 psi, which is where I had it charged up today. And I still got uh, around 1,800 psi in there now, taking a couple more shots. I'm probably going to use the rest of this. I don't use all my ammunition for the day, and uh, you know. Uh, I got parts for this gun. I bought parts from various places. The Alchemy Air Works is one of them. Uh, Hill Air Guns. Uh, it's a Lothar Walter barrel. Spent some money on that thing. And uh, overall, I'm, you know, in fair several iterations with it, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. It's a 3D printed rail. Not very substantial. I wouldn't put anything on there, on there that, uh, that, that might break it. It's hard to adapt to this particular weapon, but uh, hey, it works. So if you're in this kind of hobby, get into it. Have some fun. Go out and shoot some small game. <laughs>